I'm Alexa Balwana, your ILing specialist here at ENM. And today, we'll be talking about common misconceptions you may have on ILing. But before we get started, if you haven't seen our video on top five reasons why IOLink is so cool, I'd suggest watching that first. It offers a pretty good base on what we'll be covering today. You can find the link in the description box below. Now let's get started. IOLink is a really neat tool, but it may seem limited in what you can connect to it. There are a set number of ports in each master block, and not every sensor you use may be capable of talking IOLink. Here are a couple of the problems that you may have encountered. Let's take a look at problem number one. You want to use IOLink, but you have an analog sensor. What do you do? Your first solution could be Balef's BNI00C6. This is a signal converter that will allow your analog sensor to talk IOLink. It's a simple solution of just adding this half step and connecting one or two sensors before your master block. Now, what if you have a whole line of analog sensors that you want to put on IOLink? Then your solution may be Balef's BNI00AJ. This is an 8-port expansion hub that essentially does the same as the previous product, but on a larger scale. Let's take a look at problem number two. What if you want to create more connections for your multi-step processes? The ports on a Balef master block can easily be configured to act as extension ports to connect additional expansion hubs. If those hubs are not enough, or if you need to set up this configuration for multiple processes, you can easily daisy chain master blocks side by side. As an added tip by how the ports are designed, you can either connect one IO-Link device or two discrete devices to each IO-Link port. By adding a splitter, you can double your discrete connections to your blocks and hubs to take in more devices. This allows for an easier connection to your controller while opening a wide number of paths to add on and connect to. Let's take a look at problem number three. What if you want a certain number of input or output ports in your system? Balef offers four or eight port expansion hubs that are input or output only, but they also have solutions that offer configurable ports. Each port on the BNI-007Z can be set to either input or output to create customized solutions for however many paths you need. I hope this video answered some of your IO-Link connectivity questions. All of the products that I referenced in this video will be tagged in the description box below. If you have any questions or have an application you'd like to talk about, give us a call. I'm Alexa Volvana, your IO-Link specialist here at ENM. Thanks for watching.